Alright, so here is an update to my aquarium controller powered by the Raspberry Pi and Arduino Uno. My last video I had it mostly finished, um, but I still had a few parts left to do, mostly with the Adreno. So I've got all my transformers moved down to this board, um, which convert the 120 to the 24 volts, which runs my lights. Um, and then I got the uh, Arduino Uno up and running now, and I've got six TIP 120s, um, what are they, NPN transistors. Um, so from the transformers, the wires come over and I've got one in, one going out. Those connect to the TIP tra uh, transistors. Uh, and that allows me to do the pulse width modulation. And I got a time lapse video of my fish tanks. Um, the light going from dark in the morning up to about noon. So I'll play that at the end of this video here. So uh, that Adreno Uno is controlling all that, um, which is based on the percentage values for each of the, the modules that I have. So just a quick look at some of the code. Uh, I did post my code up to GitHub. Um, again, this is my first time with Python, so if it's kind of messy or sloppy, um, I'll eventually get it all cleaned up. So, But it will be on GitHub. I'll throw a link out there for you guys if you want to check it out or give me some pointers. Um, so I tried to make it object or class based. Uh, this main controller here I just have a couple arrays for each of my main lights and then I have the you'll see the pins are set up for the Adreno for the pulse width and then the GPIO pins that I use for the relays um, so that's just the setup there and that's just setting up all my pins so I have a light module object that just keeps track of all the pins um, and what group they're in. So and Then I have another controller that actually calculates all of the light intensities. Uh, I'm not going to go through that here. You can download the project if you want to see all the formulas and whatnot. Um, so I just run this on basically a, a timer uh, that fires off right now every 30 seconds and it just calls this uh, run main controller which ends up forwarding it to the main daylight controller passing in all my light arrays uh, it updates everything um, for the levels intensities based on the time of day and day of year and once I get that back I call the update relays in PWM which then basically just runs through all of the light modules and checks the state uh, state changes and if there's any PW, PWM changes. Uh, I don't have pulse width modulation on all of my lights. I only have it on the main lights, six um, out of the eight relays that I have. So I just do a quick check to see if I set a pulse width pin on a light module uh, or even a relay pin. Um, on there and, and I only update the ones that are actually set to something. Um, so I did try and make it somewhat efficient uh, at least so I'm not constantly um, pounding the relays with changes. So I do check for a state change so I do have a previous state uh, and a current state uh, and, and I just use that as a flag to trigger my updates. Uh, and then the pulse width the, I calculate intensities from basically negative 1 to positive 1 uh, with all my uh, cosine waves and, and the light cycles. Uh, but the Adreno Uno runs on 255 sub-steps between 0 and 255. So it's just a, a simple conversion uh, based on my intensity to get it to fit to the range of the Adreno Uno. So. And then of course I always do a double check to make sure it's not out of range um, so I don't have any errors or crash the program or whatnot. So um, that's just a, a quick overview.
Um, I'll show you guys the uh, time lapse here, uh, and then if you want, you can check out the project. So, as for right now, uh, I think this project is is pretty much done. The other thing I might do is add a heat sink to these guys because they do get a little warm uh, right around midday when they're running at 100%. Uh, but they're only pulling two amps maximum. Um, at midday, that'd be 100%. Otherwise, they're pulling less than that. So, um, from what I found, I can run about three amps before you start really needing a heat sink, and then they're rated for five amps continuous. So, um, I do have a little chunk of aluminum that I can put on there um, to help with the heat, uh, and, and I'll, that's probably the only thing that I'll change at some point. But, so, <clears throat> about it. Here's the time lapse.